Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I think in five years, I would. I really enjoyed working in the school system. Uh, so I'd like to continue that, only because there's so much uh, opportunity, you know, for collaboration with teachers, other staff, and you know, being able to generalize skills in a naturalistic setting. Um, I'd also like to um, become a clinical fellow mentor, only because you know there's so much that you learn on the job uh, that I would love to be able to, you know, um, impart that. Uh, for the upcoming uh, speech pathologist so they can kind of, you know, hit the ground running. Since I'm in the first year of the program, I'm not quite sure what area of SLP I want to work in yet or what population, but I have always loved working with kids, so I would love to work with the pediatric population. And I would also love to live and work in Toronto for a bit, especially since we aren't getting that experience right now. And then down the line, when I'm more experienced, I would love to do some SLP work or volunteering abroad. Five years from now, I would really love to open my own clinic. Um, I still have a year or like half a year to graduate, um, but I would love to open my own clinic that serves uh, marginalized individuals. Um, as is evidenced, our field is really, really low in representation, and that very much plays a role in the people that we see and who is able to access our care. Um, so I'd love to do more work in advocacy um, and advocacy on a bigger level, not just like on the client or patient level, but kind of advocating to the big people um, who hold a lot of the policy in their hands. Um, and I'd love to open my own clinic one day. And in five years, I will be done my master's degree and ready to go out and work as an SLP. And I'm really hoping to find a job that allows me to combine both my interest of working with children and also adults or two part-time jobs, one where I could work with children and one where I could work with aphasia patients as that's what my experience is. I'm also really hoping to try out some different settings and get to know some different clients and populations. In five years from now, I will be in my sixth year of being a speech pathologist. I hope at that time I'll be able to take on a student either for their clinical practicum or even for them to volunteer with me. Um, I also hope at that point I'll be able to take on some sort of a research role. Research has always been really interesting to me. It's something that I did in my undergrad and um, at speech pathology school. So I hope it's something that I'll be able to continue. Thanks for watching. Check out our YouTube channel for more symposium content and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook.